What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our family farm here in Tipperary. We are embracing what is beautiful weather actually. Look at that out there, sun is shining, it's a good growing day. Uh, we haven't got much to do. Our hay is all stacked up here for now. Uh, so we're waiting for that to grow back as quickly as it can so we can get some more. But it uh, doesn't look too bad in here at the moment, so I'm quite happy about that. Uh, so... We're going to leave that where it is for now. Like I say, everything's gathered up in the fields there. We've sold a few bales of silage. We're waiting for a few more to be sold as well, so that should be good. Uh, but yeah, other than that, everything is looking good. We are, in fact, today... Well, I am going for a bit of a drive. Uh, I'm going to head out, uh, and then Brother Mike is going to sit around here and do a few things, because we are going to go and look at a new piece of equipment that we might try and buy today. Uh, and I'm hoping, or desperately hoping we get it, because I'm going to take the tractor. We're going to take the T7. So we're going to jump in, and it's about a, it's a fair drive, it's about a 20, uh, what is it going to be? No, it best be probably 30 miles, uh, so it's going to take us a little bit of time to get there, about an hour or so I guess. Uh, but we'll see, so off we go, uh, just make sure everything's engaged here. Uh, heading down the coastline really, so we're going to go right out of here. It's beautiful and head away down get ourselves over there there's a farm a huge farm dispersal sale really hasn't quite started yet but it's due to come in fairly soon uh, I think it's now about 11 a.m. I think the sale is actually supposed to start by about 1 so the idea being that we can get ourselves there early have a look-see and um, yeah, decide if we want to wait hang around and bid for what we're looking at uh, so yeah that's gonna be quite exciting a new little kind of weapon to our arsenal if we do go ahead with it and we'll see, we've got a little bit of land work to do around here as well that we'll try and get done if we get back early enough this afternoon we'll try and get a start, if not we'll just have to leave it be until tomorrow. But like I say, weather is looking good for the foreseeable. Uh, let's head out this way, there we go. And yeah, so away we go there, we're going to take this drive, it's about a, oh well it's the best part of like I say an hour or so. So we'll uh, get away, we'll, we'll come back to you when we're a little bit closer to the scene and just see what's going on there. Welcome back folks, we've made some good ground here actually, we're flying along, oh that doesn't look very good, that's a bit of a junk heap there. Uh, we've been going for about 45 minutes, even stopped off on the way, uh, and I think we're just going to keep on going straight forward here. In fact, no, Cargo will head down this way. Uh, might be a little bit quicker for if memory serves. Haven't been up this neck of the woods for ages, so it's all kind of coming back to me now. Uh, but we'll just take a time around here. The, the the yard we're going to really is really small, uh, but it's one of the few yards that this uh, this was an agricultural contractors really, uh, and they were uh, the the main owner of the place is retiring and he's selling up. So it's uh, there's a huge amount of equipment on sale. It's like a business dispersal more than anything else, and. Uh, yeah, we're gonna get ourselves, hopefully get ourselves something here, now we're a little bit further away yet. But yeah, it'll be interesting to see what happens, there'll be a big crowd turned up and there's a lot of buzz around this. Um, even heard of a fair bit of excitement about it from overseas, so, uh, throughout the UK. So we'll have to wait and see if that kind of impacts anything. Uh, no, I don't know if that road goes all the way through, so we'll head this way. See what we can find. It's a little bit more overcast here, it's got gloomier and gloomier as we've gone. Oh lord. That's also not very good. Uh, but yeah, we'll just head around here. It's a little bit murky. We left bright blue sunshine behind us in, in Tipperary. And we still haven't seen anything else. So, I mean, what we'll do is we're just gonna... We're not far away now anyway. We'll get ourselves set up there. And we're just gonna have a walk through some of the equipment, see what there is. See what we can find. And then see if... Yeah, we'll hang around. See if we can get lucky, really. Um, we have a price in mind of what we're going to go to for the particular bit of equipment. We'll see if that's going to be sufficient or not. Uh, no, I do believe we should just go up here. Uh, oh lord, if we do buy something here, it's going to be tight to get it out. That looks for certain. Take our time. Yeah, this is like kind of the viewing stage right now, so it's a little bit earlier. A uh, little bit of time, just have a look through all of the, the lineup, see what's there, make some notes and decide what you want to do. Register as well if you're going to buy something, because you need to get a, like a registration form all sorted out. And then we'll see. But as you can see, there's the beginning of what looks like an awful lot of equipment. And I feel like I'm going to be the only thing in blue. Uh, it looks like we've got a lot of red around here. 
Uh, but yeah, so this is going to be pretty big. Agricultural contractor, as I mentioned there, pretty much specializing in grass work for the most part. Um, silage, that kind of thing. Uh, silage, slurry, muck spreading. They do some light cultivation, but not a great deal. Uh, oh, heavens, there's a lot of equipment there. Let's go and just get myself turned around. I believe they've sold off a few smaller bits and pieces already. A few private sales and things, so that's... A few of the uh, the fleet of bale trailers have gone, uh, so that's why there's no trailers there. But here we go. I think we'll just take ourselves over here. Bailers, bailers, bailers. Oh, old drill there. A lot of oh, they've got the same trailers as we do. Ah. Well, what I think we'll do for now, we'll just park this up here. See what we can uh, find. This must be the beginning of the car park, I guess. A few people here already, but we'll leave this about here for now. Perfect. Okay. Oh, it's a lot, of, a lot of cloud, a lot of planes in the sky there. Uh, so we're going to have a wander through this. As I say, this is a huge, huge dispersal sale, really. A lot of nice looking, a lot of good looking equipment as well. It's been well looked after. Uh, some of it like this has probably been touched up a little bit before it came to the sale, just to make it, make it look like a little bit more uh, respectable, really. Um, but yeah, ultimately it's looking pretty good. Let's have a little bit of a wander through. We've got a nice looking old bale, well, a nice new bale and an old bale. That's a nice combi unirap. Uh, those old class Rollins were really steady little balers, that's for sure. We've got a standard kind of grass equipment, we've got some brakes in here, we've got a tether, a lot of mowers as well, but then when you've got this much equipment, you I think I saw a forager over there, and one, two, three, four balers, you need to get a lot of mowers out to get ahead. Uh, so that's pretty much what they've got going on right here. Uh, very heavy on the punter side of things, by the looks of things. Uh, looking nice though. Uh, yeah, really do, uh, I'm very impressed with all of this equipment range here. Very nice and tidy. Uh, of course, they're obviously big into the uh, tank and slurry as well. Which there's four different tankers here. Uh, so you've got a lot of ground cover with those guys, no doubt. Three muck spreaders. A whole host of the same trailers that we had. Uh, really impressive here. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, most of the... the uh, I can't remember the name of the chap who used to make ours, but he's been busy. They're looking in great uh, fettle as well. Okay, that's really impressive though. Hopefully this cloud stays away as we get going there, um, because we do really want to try and uh, knock it too wet as we do this. Now this is the lineup as well, look at this for a fleet of equipment. So we've got the Forager, big New Holland Forager, uh, clearly they're a Case New Holland fan, and there's no Case Forager around here, so New Holland is a go-to, so nice looking Forager actually, and then you've got the Maze header there, and your whole crop header as well, so that's going to be an expensive day for somebody, good grief. That is quite the impressive beast. Really, really. Is. We're not in. We're not here looking for that today. Nor are we here looking for these two JCBs. Nice looking JCBs, though. That being said, I bet they have a lot of pit work on them. Uh, with particularly on some of the smaller JCBs, like got looking at the transmissions. They've been doing a lot of pit work there. They might have been hammered a little bit. I have to have a look at that. They've got a, a line of cases. Look at this. So One fifteen. That's quite small. And the beautiful old uh, Maxim Pro. That's in great shape for its age. The gearboxes on these were uh, suspect, I seem to recall. Uh, if they went wrong, they ended up with a million pieces on the shed floor, but uh, nice condition, for sure. And then into the newer range here. He must have cycled out his tractors pretty quickly, because we've got a lot of newer machines, all the new body shapes. Uh, so we're all in Pumas by the looks of things. Maybe maybe those two at the end are Optums. But yeah, they're again, great condition, really, really are. All the wheel weights on the back end as well. And then the two Optums here just look beautiful. Really, really nice. Absolutely stunning. Very well looked after. They must be around 300 horsepower, I should guess. Like that one a lot. Very, very nice. But we're not here to look at tractors either. We've got plenty of tractors, and these are all in the wrong color. They should all be blue for us. Uh, we're actually here. We've already gone past what we're looking for today. We're actually here for a baler. Uh, so we're going to head back on over down this little avenue here. I like that they've kind of mowed down a little path here. To, it's a bit wet out there, so the grass is nice and dry. It's really is quite helpful. Uh, we're here for looking for a baler. It's not the round baler either. We're looking for a square. And uh, although that is a nice baler there. 
It's a little bit too modern for us. We're going for the old Heston people. We're going to come and have a look at this today. Uh, now we want to just get something. This is primarily going to be for hay. Uh, get some bigger... It looks like they've even put a little bit of perspex on the bottom there just to help with that uh, when on the pickup there. But yeah, we want to get a, a little bit of extra um, baleage out there. We want to get some different sizes as well. So hay and straw will be doing predominantly with big square, uh, which would be good. And it's just something that we can, we can pull behind the New Holland there and it'll just speed the job up a little bit. Uh, get us in, get us out a little bit faster. So that's what we're thinking. That's what we're thinking about. It is, or it does look to be in relatively good condition. And no rust on it on the back end there. It's been cleaned up and polished up quite nicely. There we go, get up on the top there. Everything looks okay. There's no real sign of any, any bad damage. Uh, it's had quite a few bales on here by all accounts. I think if I memory serves there, I saw in the region of about 33,000 bales. So, but then when you, if, I mean, if you're a busy contractor, you're putting maybe, uh, you know, 10, 11,000 through there. That's only three years use. So this has clearly had a lot more time than that. Uh, but yeah, we'll have to, have to see about that one. It does look like it's in good nick anyway. Clearly they split the workload with a newer baler, the 2270XD. That's a little bit smaller than the Hessen. That must be a 4x4 there. No, actually it won't be. I don't know what that produced me. 5x3s? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, great, great uh, lineup of equipment here. Some really good condition as well. So it's really testament to the owners. Now, Expecting this to get a little bit busy as the day goes on, so we'll have to wait and see. But uh, we're going to try and get a good a good offer in. See what we can do for this, see if we can uh, uh, kind of make something work. So we'll have to wait and see. So we're going to have a bit of a look around the rest of the equipment. Join us later on and we'll see how we, uh, how we get on here. Ladies and gentlemen, we got it. We were successful. We paid a little bit under our top kind of uh, our, our top end budget. So I'm delighted by that one. The auction is moving along. I think it's over by the tractors there now. So we have already gone and paid our bill. So we're good. And I want to get this back home to the yard there before all of the uh, the farm traffic starts coming in to get their bits and pieces. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Uh, there's not as many cars here. There's a lot more people than I expected. So. Before that all happens though, let's just jump in and get this all taken care of, I think. Uh, so we're just going to head back this way. Happy days. I won't tell you exactly what we paid for it, but it was a good amount. Yeah, it's in good condition there, so we'll get plenty of usage out of it moving forward. It is red, uh, so it's going to go against the, uh, the colour scheme on the farm there, but what can you do? It's a good looking baler for us moving forward. So we're going to get this picked up right about now, and then we're kind of good to go. Uh, we'll get around there a bit more. Nice that we can actually kind of get this in and get this out quickly. Oh, that's brilliant. Okay. Alright, so we're just going to make sure everything's all hooked up here. Get all the, the PTO shaft and everything on so we don't lose or damage that. And then we'll get ourselves on our way. So we'll join you in just a second. Okay, we are good folks. Let's get ourselves out of here, shall we? I'd be interested to see get this into some hay as well, just to see how it handles it really, more than anything else there. It should be fine, but you never know. Uh, we'll get out of here. There's a lot of equipment selling for a good price in here today, actually. Surprised at how uh, well some of it was holding its value. A lot higher than I ever anticipated. So that's good for the uh, good for the original owner there at least. And a credit to him and how he's looked after everything, of course. Uh, so we're just going to scoot back around here. There we go. 
Not the easiest of yards to get into. I don't know. This is one of two, but the other one apparently didn't have a uh, suitable field to host the sail in, so they're here. Oh lord, that's tight. There's going to be some struggle to get some of this equipment out. I'm not sure if they'll be ripping out a corner of this hedge or something. Slowly. In the way through here. But the roads seem quite quiet as well there, so we should be away. It takes us, like I say, probably a little bit longer than an hour to get back because we're not going to bounce along the road with this all too quickly. But uh, let's see what we can do anyway. Get us back up to the yard. We haven't got any hay ready just yet. The uh, the grass is starting to grow though pretty quickly. And uh, we haven't got any... Oh, stop. That was close. We haven't quite got any uh, straw on the ground to go at either. But that shouldn't be too far away. What in the world are they doing now? That's a bit loud. Alright then, and we are off. Everything looks good in the mirrors. Fantastic, then we'll get ourselves away. So we'll come back to you in just a little bit when we're back over uh, near the hometown. And then we'll uh, yeah, we'll have a better look at this one to get into the yard, I should imagine. So uh, we'll join you in just a little bit. Alright then, folks, we are nearly home. Uh, it's brightened up again, as you can see, dramatically. Uh, we're just going to cruise along here. Really not too far away. Now we'll take this up to the yard. We'll have a bit of a better look at it around about. And, uh, yeah, we'll just kind of leave it parked up there, wait for Michael to come back and have a look-see as well, see what he thinks of it all. Uh, and yeah, it's a, a nice little string to our, uh, uh, arsenal here, really, string to the bow. Uh, let's just take it down there. And still back in time to go and stick on the, uh, cultivator and get going again in the fields, get some, uh, cover crops, put in some catch crops, so we'll see how that one looks, but, uh, yeah, this is, uh, this will be nice. I'm looking forward to trying to get, uh, get this used, actually. Whoa. There we go. Bounce up there. Pulling it along nicely with the with the T7 here. We are missing a short bit of shaft that we're going to have to go to the dealer and pick up tomorrow, I think. Uh, just a bit that actually connects into the PTO. But that's, that's no problem at all. You can do buy things at auctions like that, sight on uh, sight of scene. So... Uh, yeah, I expected that. Uh, we, can, we can do that no problem. Uh, but yeah, it's just nice to kind of get a baler in. A lot cheaper than we would have picked one up anywhere else, that's for sure. Let's just make sure we get around. Yeah, we do. Whoop, there we go. Alright then, and just have a quick look at it, see here. And we'll park about there. Alright, so we've got the sprayer on because we have a con contract job to go and do today as well. But, with all of our lights are flashing now, you can see it's it's a nice little setup actually. It does the part. Uh, should get some bales flowing through that one quickly. We want to get as much straw, con even if it's contract straw, bailed up as we can. Uh, and that way we can stick it all into there as well. But yeah, so far so good. And yeah, we'll come back to you with a little bit more of an update when, you, when we can actually get this into the field and we'll just see how it's all coming together. Uh, right now though, we're going to leave it here. Thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this uh, brief little update on the purchase of a new baler for us really. So uh, come back to us when we've got this all kind of in the, uh, in the field, pushing out some blocks. So we'll see how it goes there. Until next time though, thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed and we'll see you all in the next one.